This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex Bennett, and if you look there, yeah, mm-hmm, it says the Ramble, and it says Alex, and that's me, I'm Alex, hi, how are you, good to see you, nice to see you, is my, is my hat too close to the top, let me see here, let me, see I have to, I, 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 at first of the week I always have to readjust things, then I try them before I go on the air, and then uh, they're all screwed up. So let me see here. I wanna, I wanna take this, and I wanna go show settings, and then I wanna go down a little bit. See, because my head's too high. See, and now my head is just right, I guess. And maybe I can go do a little of this, uh, of of uh, making myself a bit smaller, and then bring myself over just a tad. And there we go. Isn't that nice? That's the way it should have been all along. But that's not the way it set itself up. Anyway, where are we? Oh, yeah. We're ready to go with our uh, our, mo- our Wednesday show. What did I say? The Monday show? The Wednesday show. By the way, tonight, uh, Jack Bishop will not be on tonight. Why? He's going back into the hospital. It seems over the last two days, he has fallen three times. And his doctor said, we're going to put you in a hospital and find out what this is all about. Although, according to him, it's not that serious. That it's, uh, Hold on a second. I still got to adjust this. Uh, it's not that big a problem. Uh, supposedly, he thinks now it's a disc in his back that's causing it. I don't know that I agree with that assessment, but I ain't no doctor, okay? And today, I went to the doctor and why did I go to the doctor? Well, let me tell you why I went to the doctor. I went to the doctor. See, there we go. Then I got to do that to get that off. Oh, boy. I, I, this, is, this is ridiculous. Okay. I'm just trying to get this stuff right here. Okay, there we go. Okay, we'll leave it at that, and I'll fix it tomorrow. Uh, I got to move the green. See, if I don't have the green screen moved over enough, then you get the, wait a minute, over on this side. See that? They you see behind the green screen. So I think we're okay. I think we're all right. But who knows? Who cares? I don't. Do you? Wait a minute. Let me uh, hmm. Let me see here. If I move this over, if I move this over a bit. Wait a minute. I mean, just what? Hold on, folks. I'm just moving stuff. There we go. There we move it over a little bit. Everything's fine. Okay. And now look how red my face is because of the exertion I put out. Anyway, it's time for me to go see uh, somebody who joins us every week at this time. And uh, his name is Phil Meyer. And if we just do this, uh, there he is. Oops. i got to take this out of here. Uh, Charlie Wallace is still waiting to get put online. And, uh, you know, so I, re- I really should get all this stuff taken care of before I go on the air. And I did. I thought I had it all settled. And just getting me right here is, takes a while. Anyway, hello, Phil. Hey, happy Wednesday. But I don't know that how happy it is for a lot of people. See, but, uh, yeah, yeah, you're going to start with the news immediately, and I don't. No, 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 no. I'm just saying that, you know, I, I want to have the uh, a good attitude about what's going on. and You want to have uh, a good attitude about what's going on? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't want to. I didn't uh, know there was any good attitude to have. Yeah, well, I, I feel for the uh, people in Texas. And for and for what happened, mm-hmm. and uh, you but know, you're not willing to do anything about it. Well, that's not true. Oh, okay. So you're going to do away with guns? No, I don't think that's the answer. Oh, I see. That's something. What is the answer, Phil? Uh, well, the answer is uh, help people with uh, mental uh, oh, oh, issues. Oh, yeah, right, right. Uh, uh, that's not the only the only thing we have to do. 
you know. Well, there's a lot of things. I mean, we you got this guy Abbott down in Texas, their governor, the moron of a governor, who said this was a demented human being. Well, so is Abbott. You know, a guy who who in his state made it legal for anybody to give get a gun for any reason without having a background check. Well, that's his state, and the people of that state continue to vote him in. No, they in only state. voted him in, I think, once. Oh, well, he, he just didn't want to leave? No, he's going to have to run again this year, and he may lose. Uh, he's running against Beto O'Rourke. I think right? so. I think so. We're not yeah. sure. And yeah. uh, Beto O'Rourke is very anti-gun. Yeah, good for so, him. I'm voting for him. Well, you moved to Texas. There, there's. Um, when are you going to say it's time for us to do something about this this uh, gun problem? You know, I heard Ted Cruz yesterday say the most stupidest thing I heard anybody say. They said, yeah, well, "Do you think we should do something about gun control?" And he said, "Well, what we have to do is get more cops on the street." And I went, "More cops on the street would not have helped this situation or stopped it from happening." Well, it happened to be an elite force of uh, SWAT cops that were in the area uh, that stopped. Oh, uh, no, you're wrong. This kid. You're wrong. Yeah. You're wrong. Yeah, they were from uh, C. No, uh, you're, you're wrong. Yeah, what do you say? The person who went in and tried to stop it was a member of the Border Patrol. That's what I'm saying. It was well, a, they, he's not an elite cop. He's a member of the Border Patrol. He happened to be part of a special group of Border Patrol. Yeah, yeah, but this was after the kids had gotten killed, okay? You know, to have the feeling that more cops are going to solve this problem is ridiculous. I think less guns will stop this problem. Well, you know, we, uh, we gave Ukraine $40 billion. Don't go to Ukraine. We're not discussing uh, Ukraine. Listen to me no, here. You're, 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 you're pulling something out to take the whole thing and shift its focus. No, we gave... Let's, we get, gave, right to, let's get right to okay, the question. Right to the fact is that you need to fortify the schools to keep these oh, demented yeah, yeah, individuals yeah, 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 from yeah, entering. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. if you have a single point of entry... If you have uh, uh, an area w mm -hmm. that you can close down, uh, this school if had that. One of these school, shooters this school in, had that. No, they didn't. This school uh, had that. I heard this that school tonight. had training. I heard that tonight on the air. They had training, and they also had uh, 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 limited entrance to the school. And the person who was supposed to be watching out, who was a guard, mm -hmm. let this guy in. Wearing body armor, carrying two rifles he and a pistol. He let this guy in. Well, he the kid was carrying two rifles. He was wearing body armor, and uh, he uh, had a, also a pistol. Mm -hmm. So uh, if he let this guy in, obviously he wasn't very well trained. Well, Phil, but he was he was he was a security guard. He was trained. Well, it, it's called a school Phil, resource Phil, officer. Phil, more cops are not going to solve the problem. Um, if, Less guns are going to solve the problem. Uh, Why can't you say that? How many kids? Because I don't believe many, in these that. These are 19 children whose right. lives got snuffed out because people like you keep standing up for guns. That's true. I do stand well, up for Well, then your guns. blood is on, their blood is on your hands. Well, I'm glad you think so, but uh, the I think, freedoms that we enjoy in this country are are given to us uh, by the people that that. Well, died then we have to do away with that freedom. We have to repeal the Second Amendment. Well, you you feel that way. I don't feel that way. I actually feel okay. that the Second and your, Amendment. Your solution, protects... your solution to this problem is what, Phil? More guns? No, my solution is more security. Phil, now, Phil, you, you, you know what, wanted, you, you know you, what, you know what you, more you security people, entails. Yeah, more money. guns, more guns, uh, and it also involves more money. Oh, money on. that went to uh, some money that went to Ukraine. Uh, money. Phil, that it is, didn't go to Ukraine. Schools, it didn't go to Ukraine. Forty billion Phil, dollars. You're trying. You're trying. You're throwing in a straw dog to try and change the conversation. You are absolutely. You couldn't be more wrong. Well, look, there was a, a look at it this way. There was a lot of money that was given to schools to deal with COVID that was never spent. Do you think that that money could be put towards uh, securing the schools and protecting our children? Now we go to COVID.
gone. Mm -hmm. Now we go to COVID. Phil, this school um, was in a small district. 16,000 uh, uh, people, uh, uh, 4,000 yes. students. Yeah, most of them, by the way, Hispanic, Hispanic, which tends to let me believe that if there wasn't enough uh, protection there, it was because they were Hispanic and who cares? I, I don't think so. Oh, it's, you don't think so? It's like okay. the no. sheriff oh, yeah, of no, that this, county. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, he got there in time, didn't he? Well, that's another reason that people should have guns because how long does it take for the police to respond uh, oh, so every, an well, so why don't we why don't we send all those kids to school with a gun? Then why don't we arm the teachers? Oh, arm the teachers. Oh, that's a great idea. And suppose one of those teachers is crazy and decides to kill all his students. Well, you see, the thing is, they, they vet these people that get the training that our school resource don't officers. Don't you get the idea, Phil? You keep they the arm, guns out of the schools, not they, ingest them into them. Well, they're they're arming pilots uh, on the airlines. The whole idea is Let's arm everybody. Maybe, Hell, I'll get a gun and I go shoot up the neighborhood just to protect. Well, it. you see, yeah. schools are a soft target for these guys because mm -hmm. they know that people in there can't, don't have a way of defending themselves. So why do you think that they go into these kinds of places? They go in because it's easy. Nobody in there has a gun, so they know that it's easy pickings. Bill, I'm glad you're not in charge of this problem, you know? Well, if, to begin with, begin with this, what, the, re, the way this kid got a gun is he turned 18. And, and he, he was him. allowed in the state of Texas to go into any gun store and mm -hmm. purchase as many weapons as he wanted to and yep. not have to have a background check. All he had to prove was that he was over 18. That was it. Well, he had to sign a thing that said he wasn't mentally defective, but obviously he well, was. Yeah, yeah, like a person who's mentally defective is going to sign that. Mm hmm You know. Well, in the state of Texas, mm -hmm. they have though that ability. In the state of California, there are uh, more restrictions. Uh, but I really believe that if people in the school were armed that and they had more school resource officers mm -hmm. that were armed, that uh, some of the, these mass shootings wouldn't occur. Uh, you know, if um, also if you look at these kids, what do they do? They play video games. They well, what uh, does this have to do with anything, well, Phil? These these are the things that desensitize. Phil, them. I play those same video games where you kill people. Okay. Right. Okay. Do I own a gun? Do I want to go out and kill anybody? If anything, yeah. that is an outlet for them i don't think so i think it's a training ground well you don't think so but psychiatrists and psychologists will tell you that it doesn't desensitize them in many cases because these kids aren't as stupid as you are okay they know what they're doing they're playing a game they're sh they're killing pixels all right yeah and that's well, it the difference between reality and and fantasy the line gets crossed. Oh, well, how come it never got crossed with me? How come How come I play all those video games and well, I, I know, don't even own a gun? Let me ask you this. When you grew up and you were a kid, mm -hmm. were there any school shootings like this? No, but I'll tell you what. I had a cat, I had a, a, a holster, to, a double holster with cap guns in them. Right. And, uh, and, and why didn't was, that, why I, didn't that desensitize me? Well, it, it probably did, but uh, you know. Oh yeah, and I went around shooting everybody. Phil, well, why, you did, you why had, did you get you down? Had, Look, the basic problem with this is guns. That's the basic problem, Phil. You don't seem to be able to see, get it blaming, into your fat little head. You're blaming inanimate objects for the for the oh, actions. They're not inanimate, of, of Phil. People. They're not inanimate. inanimate. They don't fire when they're in their hands. The when they're in the hands of somebody, they become animate. Yeah, they don't fire until somebody pulls the trigger. Oh, well, they tell and, me, tell me, that's interesting. But you, I didn't so know that, it's, Phil. But it's a person that pulls oh, that trigger. You can't blame the gun uh, for uh, this, this kind I of I see. Behavior. Okay, okay. I now, can't, you know, I, you Japan, know, I can't blame, uh, blame Governor Abbott for what he did. No. Oh, he isn't responsible for any of this, Phil? Not at all. Not at all. Boy, you are so terrible.
It, it, you know, it's, you're one of the reasons. Americans that's, you're right. why we have problems in this country, Phil. Yeah, it's an, it's a right to own a gun. No, it isn't it's a right. Like it is I, the right I, to. We got to do away with that right because you kids haven't been playing with your toys well. Oh, okay. So, two hundred and some odd years of playing with the toys well, and now we have. Well, uh, did we a, ever a play? With, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did we ever play with them well? We had yeah. a, we had a civil war where we didn't play with them well. Uh, we've had uh, uh, organized crime that didn't play with them well. Uh, we've had, uh, you know, uh, this thing of, of mass shootings is a recent thing because they never really had the technology to be able to buy the kind of weapons that would be able to do this kind of mass you know, destruction. He used, he, he had a carbine, an AR-15, which stands for Armalite Rifle. And an AR-15 is uh has got a 22 caliber uh bullet it's a larger bullet but it's it's 22 caliber mm -hmm. uh it's a 2.22 does it have a magazine yes well that's your difference well it, it's, it's not like he had to put in a new bullet for every kid that he shot no but he had to pull the trigger for every oh he for had every to pull time. the sh trigger but he yeah. didn't have to put in a, a, a so, bullet he had a specific action. In Japan, they don't allow Can I guns. ask you what these rifles are possibly good for? Uh, self-defense, target practice. Oh, oh self-defense? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and uh, target practice, I see. Well, is this, you see, this people, was definitely this was definitely target practice, Phil. Yes, it was. Tar people want the same kinds of weapons that the military and the and the police have. And, you know, uh, and that's and that's the kind of weapon that the military and the police have. It's always been that way. Even in the times of the Revolutionary War, we had flintlocks and muskets. The people had flintlocks and muskets. Now the police have uh, pistols, nine millimeter glocks, things like that. And they have uh, uh, M4s and a a AR. Well, they don't usually use AR-15s because an AR-15 isn't a fully automatic gun. But an M4 is, it looks very similar. And, uh, you know, so the uh, now fully automatic guns are allowed in some Shame states. Shame on you, Phil. Shame on you. Well, I, I don't... Shame on I you, because nowhere in this whole discussion have you mentioned that there are 19 young lives that are no longer in existence because of, of this oversight on the part of the governor of, of I Texas. thought the first thing I said was you know i feel bad for what well that that's wonderful Texas. phil that you feel bad for them what are you going to do to stop it well i told you i you, you need to uh, finance the schools or give the schools the finances to uh to uh, have a single point of entrance have more school resource mm -hmm. officers arm the teachers train the teachers and stop the scourge that is is happening because uh, how are you going to force how are you going to gonna force a teacher to to have a gun in there you don't classroom. have to force them okay so, so what this guy did is he went into this classroom locked the door behind him and then killed all the kids and the teacher in the room okay right uh suppose that teacher didn't want to have a gun that's their choice that woman uh oh. she had a choice but there are other well, teachers. She didn't have a choice. That she, most te most choice teachers, most teachers don't want to bring a gun to 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 class. Uh, how do you? How can you say that? You know, can because you, uh, uh, I, they've taken they've taken uh, surveys and they found out that teachers feel that if they brought a gun to class, they would be taking their eyes off the real job that they had to do. That, that, that it would, which is it, it tr protect would those children it, and that they don't think that necessarily because they had a gun they would be able to protect themselves well they, you know they get Phil, training you are it's a voluntary you're refusing you're refusing to look at what the problem in, is and that's our preoccupation oh, our sexual love of the american weapon I disagree with your premise that the problem is guns oh okay i, I know I, you do and that's why you're an idiot and well, and, and well, that's why we're having this discussion. Because you're, you know? you're an idiot. Well, what do you want? You I, want no, somebody I'm that just, goes, just, oh, Alex, no, you're no, so no, right. No, no, no. This isn't a right or wrong. There are, there are 19 kids and two adults who are dead as a result of this kid. There's 21 people whose lives were snuffed out 
and 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 something has to be done about it. And all you're saying is, well, we just have to train people, and we have to more have more entrances. Less you have entrances. to you have to realize and you have to do this, and you have to do bullshit. The the society bullshit, has changed. Bro. There, there is, there is too much of yeah, this. Yeah, there are too many. You know what it is? is? The society has changed. There are too many people like you in this society. Well, let me tell you something. If you were in a situation where uh, you had a, a shooter come in, let's say you're you're sitting in your studio mm -hmm. and uh, at at a radio station, and and some shooter comes in, wouldn't you want someone trained and armed to stop that? Uh, uh, that incursion or you know i that don't person? know what i would to, be, to, to to begin with first of all in in a radio station today they wouldn't let me do the kind of show i used to do where i have a, a live studio audience every day that would become an impossibility okay right. plain and simple uh, uh they is that would not fair? they what is that fair no, it's not fair, but I, I know that, that wouldn't be. So I, I can't tell you what I would do or not do, but the one thing I would tell them I didn't want was an armed security guard. He could be armed, but not visually armed. Well, they don't have to be visually armed. They have to be prepared to do what's needed. You know, I I, I volunteer. I know, with, I, the, with the Jewish thing, yeah. Right. Well, hey, there's, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of anti-Semitism. Yeah, you know, when's, when's the last time somebody attacked the shul you are guarding? Uh, well, we, we had some police incidents where uh, we repelled uh, an individual that... Uh, Did he have a gun? No. Okay, well, then you can't... But he made, he, he it made doesn't threats. Even come, it doesn't even come into the no, discussion. But he made threats. He made threats and uh, threats. We, are, threats are one thing. Action is another. This well, kid, this kid, gun. didn't make threats except on his Facebook page at the last minute, saying he had killed his grandmother. Okay, and that he, he, said was, he going, was going. No, to kill no, his that he had killed his grandmother. Right. That was the second threat. Uh, the first thread was, "I'm going to kill my grandmother." The second one is, "I killed my grandmother." And now I'm going to go find a school. The third one is, yeah. "I'm on my way to an elementary school to kill everybody." Mm -hmm. And that happened at the last minute. That wasn't like something that had been up there for a day or so, so people could find out who this nutcase was. It doesn't was. take long for Facebook to take down a Republican post that says, "Oh, the uh, the um, election was fixed." If if you do that, they're able to find that information like that. And well, to and, begin uh, with, to begin the with, account. they are not. Uh, they don't take down things that say that. If you write that you feel that the the election was fixed, you have the right to write that. On these uh, social you may media. have the right to write it but they 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 put you on probation no they, they don't no they don't not for that there there has been a lot of people tell me and, somebody I mean, some tell me Mel somebody. melanie morgan who oh. was a disc jockey uh on uh yeah. kgo i believe no it was ksfo you're wrong uh it was a K well her husband was the uh no i think he was on kgo no she was on ksfo I know my radio in the Bay Area, Phil. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. Well, um, anyway, she was taken down uh, for her statements. And what was and, her statement? What were her statements, though? Uh, uh, I I can't remember those. Well, then then do you know, don't know what they, what they were, so we can oh, oh, we can't okay. discuss why they took them down. Well, let me give you another example that I that you're, I do know you're about. You're getting Is off that, the subject here. No, no, no. You're, you're getting uh, off the our subject. Our friend now. Hunter Biden. All right. Uh, the the. Um, Phil, Hunter Post? Biden doesn't enter into any of this. The New York, you asked me about suspended accounts. Uh, the New York Post was suspended for putting out the story about the laptops and Hunter Biden. They said it was disinformation. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, we found out it was true. No, it's, and, not, it, 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 it's not necessarily true. Huh. Uh, well, you're going to stick your head in the, in the mud for, uh, for uh, yeah, throughout but, this whole story? Basically, because you know, I think it's, I think it's a, a non-story. It's not a non-story. Look at all the information they got from it. What did they and, get from it, Phil? Well, they found out that um, uh, Hunter Biden was involved in taking money from foreign governments, and they're finding out that no, it's... That he was uh, in oh, Hillary Clinton. That's what they found. They found that, uh, and Durham found this oh, uh, at, through the Sussman, the Sussman thing. But, you know, what? what is happening here with... Uh, uh, with this the disinformation uh, where they to begin with anything they took off of a high hunter biden's hard drive was stolen material 
No, he left it uh, for three uh, for three months. But it he was never sto- picked it up. But it was stolen material. No, he gave, the guy and gave it to I, the FBI. Uh, he did. He shouldn't have given it to the FBI, and they shouldn't have opened it up. Well, his job was to transfer those files. Are you saying that because uh, this information? Phil, Phil, you know we don't know what's in those files. We haven't seen them. You're just reading about all this on your right wing wacko. Well, that's news because they're media. the only ones that will provide oh, oh, the yeah, truth about yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, back to guns. Uh, I I don't feel that... Uh, Do you mind if I bring some people in here? No, I don't mind at all. Okay, well, hold on a second. First, I want to get rid of your uh, the, um, the thing that says who you are because I don't want that to be under somebody else who isn't you. Because I don't think anybody wants to be you right now. Why do you put that up there? What? Is, what oh, I, I just wonder why you, you put that there. What? Phil Meyer? Uh, yeah. So everybody knows who you are. Well, I know who I am. No, they don't. You're not like <laughs> no. a big star here. You know? No, they love to hate me. But. Yeah, here we go. I will we'll admit, uh, let's see here. Here's Kevin. And uh, oh, uh, we have uh, Matt Duckworth tonight. And we have oh. Charlie Wallace. And we have Alan. Okay, anyway, continue, Phil. All right. Well, you, you know my stance on guns. I know your stance on guns. I just don't feel that it's the gun that creates the problem. It's the person that creates the problem. Anybody like to argue with that fact? Yes, Charlie. I just want to point out that when we had the assault weapons ban in effect, we did not have these mass shootings. It's only oh, after the mass the assault weapons ban was allowed to expire that we started having all of these mass shootings, and we've had more than one mass shooting a day. This we've year. had yeah, we've had more than one a day, yeah. Uh, since the first of this year. Yeah. 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 All right. Yes, uh, uh, Al. Alan. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take you guys outside the box. So I think that everybody here will admit that the Republicans are never going to. Uh, give in to gun control. Stop fighting them. How did we stop guns from getting on airplanes and stop stop uh, that type of terrorism hijackings? We set up TSA and we could do the same thing at a lower level uh, like Phil said, one way in and one way out through a metal detector with preferably an armed police officer, somebody that is willing to put his life on the line, not a security guard. And that will stop a lot. I mean, an 18 year old. Okay, okay, okay. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. What's the psychological effect going to be on those students who every day have to go through a metal detector? Not as bad as uh, getting uh, shot. Less than Hold losing on. their friends to being killed. Yes, Charlie. The Republicans are are so worried about the psychological effect on kids of having to wear a mask during a pandemic, but they have no problem with the psychological effect of kids having to be worried about being shot to death every day they go to school. Uh, Kevin, uh, 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 Matt, did you have something you wanted to say? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, I don't want to live in a country where I go to the grocery store, I go to church, I go to the movies, and there's an armed guard standing there looking over me. I, I, I experienced that in the Philippines when I went there on vacation once. There's mm-hmm. a guard standing there in Starbucks, and it's not a pleasant experience. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, the, wait a minute. I hold on a second. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin oh. wrote me yesterday. And first, the first thing he wrote me, it just said, fuck. And I knew exactly what he was referring to. And then he wrote me and said, I'm sitting here anxiously waiting for my daughter to come home from school, hoping nothing happened. Absolutely. That's the person we have to protect in this country. The parents of America who are afraid of sending their kids to school because people like Phil got to have them guns. America has changed, and it's it's changing the way. Twenty some odd years ago, I was. What in it's Paris. changed is you got a bunch of Republicans are the biggest fucking assholes well, in the universe. They are inhuman, and I heard uh, Abbott today say, "Oh well, this person was a monster." You know who the bigger monster is? Abbott. 
Well, look, 20, uh, 20 years ago, I went to the High Holy Days in Paris to an Orthodox temple. Here we go. Changing now, the subject. what happened was I was greeted by somebody with a, with, a, with a rifle, and they made sure that I was not a threat to the people that were praying inside. Uh, my, you know, uh, I was in Mexico. Wait a minute. I was in Mexico. I was in Acapulco. I was walking on the beach. There were soldiers up and down with with weapons. I thought it was very unusual at the time. But what I've realized is that we're only catching up with the rest of the world, which is a very dangerous place. And you need to be in a position. Turn, turn off your mic. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Can Jeff, you hear, Jeff, I can hear Jeff, it. Jeff, Jeff, turn off your audio if you're going to talk to Pam. Go back to, to that Pam. switch that was there. If you're going to talk to Pam, uh, 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 turn off your. Uh, well, maybe they sorry, want yeah, to. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out why it's not working. Okay, just turn it off. Well, we can hear you. It's working. I, yeah, you're not, not anymore. Oh, <laughs> they, <laughs> but I'm having problems with. Uh, well, you my just muted earbuds. it, so they can't hear you. No, no, you haven't oh, been muted. Not muted. You're not muted. <laughs> we can hear you. Uh, yeah. Very now good. you're muted. <laughs> yeah, now you're muted. Um, anyway, Kevin, tell me, tell me about how you felt yesterday. I mean, it was it, it, the t when you wrote me that note about worrying about your kid. I'm waiting for the kid to come home from school. I was worried about my kids. I was worried about my grandkids who are even younger. Yeah. 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 Uh, the same situation. Uh, you know, there's points that Phil has that it, it is, it, he's kind of right in a way that, that it's the people that are pulling the triggers. But the thing that's frustrating is exactly what uh, the senator from Connecticut said. Murphy. What are they doing about it? Not a fucking thing. They're not doing anything about it, and they need to do something about it. And the only reason that nothing is getting done is because the Republicans stand up there and they want to play with the NRA and stand up there and say, no, 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 we have our rights. And Senator, Senator Cruz stood up there again today and said the same damn thing right after Governor Twatface sat there and 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 made his little oh it's so bad speech thoughts and prayers and he's just uh made the whole speech today about 60 years since anything's happened bullshit you know the bell tower incident happened i mean that i, I was don't the know beginning where, of it. where he's been that was the beginning of it and it started in texas and that wasn't an automatic weapon it was a high powered it doesn't uh, matter it was a fucking gun weapon. i was in houston when that happened uh, and so. you know these people are just so out of touch, and they just want they just want uh, their power. They want what they are up there and what what they represent. That's all it is is what they're what they're trying to represent because of the people down here say we want our fucking guns. We don't let them make them do that. We want our Second Amendment. That's what? all it is. Do you want your First to do Amendment? It. If they it's, what? Do you want your First Amendment? Is that one important? I don't give a shit about that. Who's going to die over a First Amendment? We're talking about the Second Amendment, Phil. I understand, but you don't have the Second Amendment. You don't have the Second Amendment. amendment. You, you, don't have the amendment you say, we without live, the second you say amendment. we're Bob Bill, living. You're, you're diverting. Living. You're diverting. Yes. We're talking about. Oh, the not really. You are, they're they're all important. The amendment, Each one Phil. is just as important Phil. as the other. Listen, Phil, listen to Kevin. We're talking about the Second Amendment. We're talking about guns, gunpowder, bullets, people dying. Okay, Phil. You know, Phil talks. Kids, Phil, eleven-year-olds. They don't do shit. They didn't deserve to die. No. Someone whacked out, got a hold of a gun for no fucking reason. 18 years old, walked into a store in Texas the day after his birthday, got himself a fucking gun, went back two days later, got himself another fucking gun, and then turned around and walked down the street and shot up a bunch Kevin, of How many kids. guns? How kids. many how many guns kids. are in this country? Kids. Kids. How many kids. listen to me? Kids, uh, kids, yeah, kids, what does a 10-year-old kid. kid do? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Look. What did an 18-year-old kid do? Bro, get get real. Get Kill real. 
There, there is how many guns are in this Why country? Oh, don't give me that gun. one, Phil. Because he's allowed to. Because he's allowed to. It Perfect. only took. Thank you. It only it's took. Closed. It only took one gun to, to do this. I don't care how many other guns there are in the country. It took well, one gun to do it. Yeah, wait, 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 Brian. So, so why, why? Why was Brian. he allowed to? Why was he allowed to buy a gun? Because he was allowed to. That's no, no, Phil. Phil, Phil. Why was he allowed to buy a gun? If I buy a car, if, listen to me for a second. If I buy a car, it's for the purpose of driving. If you're buying an AK-47, uh, AK-15, or AR-15, or, or whatever type of high-performance gun like that, what is the purpose? Are you allowed to buy that for that purpose? Yes or no? Yes, you're yeah. allowed to buy it. Hey, Phil, can no. you go down to 7-Eleven and buy a passport today and go out tomorrow and fly? No, you got to wait 30 days. You got to wait 60 days. Why? <laughs> because I got to do a background check. Well, they do that in California. In Texas. That wasn't done in Texas. That wasn't in Texas. So, so Phil, did you listen to what Beto said? Yes. Okay, uh, tell me tell me the four things that he he's asking for. I, I know that he interrupted you, Abbott. You didn't listen to him, Ben. You didn't listen. I and, asked well, if you listened to him. Did you no, listen I didn't to him? listen to him because I think he's an idiot. Well, that doesn't matter. Well, that, he listened that, to you that, every, every Wednesday night. <laughs> That's thir- some Thursday. So, so number but, one, stop selling AR-15s. Do you agree with that, yes or no? No. Yeah. Okay, uh, Phil. Phil universal background no, checks. I, I go along with Brian. You know, I, 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 I agree with background, background checks. Hold on, check. hold on a second. Yes, I agree I, with background checks. I go checks. along with Brian. In, Federal background checks? In, hold on a second. Uh, with, Can well, I talk? Yeah. Do you mind? I, was I agree with Brian in, in what he said which I think was very important, and that was, hey, you buy a record, you listen to music. You buy something else, you use it for another purpose. Guns only have one purpose. They were invented to kill stuff. Nothing that's, else. That's, I don't care about target practice. That's just practicing to kill practice stuff. That's to practicing stuff. to kill stuff. Well, but what, what I'm saying is- to protect your family and- uh, yeah, it, it's 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 for your own protection. I know very few people others. who were ever protected. Okay, so if I go buy a gun, do I have to not pay taxes anymore? I want to ask Matt. That has Matt's, nothing to do with Matt's got it. his it hand up. I pay taxes I, for the police to protect me. I, I, I think it's time that we start seeing some of the gruesome, ugly pictures of these kids because they, the father was interviewed today. They won't even let him see them. They said, no, it's too horrific because his fucking head was blown off. There's I mean, no, I, I don't know if people there, understand how horrible it is. Believe I mean, me, I mean, yeah. Yeah. There's no kid there. They have to use DNA to figure out if the kids or not. They yep. don't know who they are. Bodies. Matt, so when bad. you've yeah. seen people that have been killed with a gun, you do not want their picture all over the place. I will tell you, it is very traumatic. It's dramatic. The people like Phil and me, we were both police officers. You do not want to spread that around. But that's I not a person. I understand what you're saying, but yeah. you don't want. I mean, it, it's traumatic. <clears throat> nothing, it, it's not nothing good. is going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. The lobbyists are too strong. There's too much money there. That, no, that, period. Do. Nothing's going to happen. What right. could happen is you fortify these schools the way they fortify uh, the the Capitol and a lot of other places. Oh yeah. That they- that in the in the capital, the sergeant at arms recommended that all of the uh, uh, Congress people carry a gun. That was the sergeant of arms at the Capitol. That was today. What happened to the Bell. land of the free? The what? The land of the free, where you can walk around and not worry about well, that. That that's changed in the last. 30 you know or what 40 else has changed Why in the last? Changed? You know what's changed it, in the last two? Wait a minute. What's okay. changed in the last two hundred years? I'll tell you what's changed in the last, in the last no. What's changed 20. in the last 200 years is the reason that amendment was written wasn't for today. It was for back then 200 years ago and maybe had some application because you had to be ready to get your arms together and go fight the British, right? But and that but the- wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me finish, Phil. Please don't interrupt me. The fact of the matter is that if you're going to argue that it's a whole different world today, well, it's a whole different world today from what it was in 1776, and it's time we did away with the Second Amendment. It's not useful or applicable. It's to keep us from being uh, uh, overrun by a tyrannical oh, government. Yeah, well, when's the last time that was happening? Outside of the fact that, outside of, of the fact when Trump was president. 
it's right. happened in a lot of countries. Like, I you're... remember all of my teachers, and of all of my teachers, maybe there's one person I would let have a gun. Miss Goodwin, who is about 70 years old, my math teacher, I would not want her with a gun. All my other teachers, I would not want with a gun. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and having, having, a, having a, a, a fortress at every single school with, with cops there, inspecting everybody, like Alan is saying, it's ridiculous. It's insane. Think, Wait a minute, hold on a second. Charlie sure. had his hand up. Yeah, every police department in the state of Texas was against this Texas law. The, the, what law? Brian? Every police department said, no, this is a disaster. Brian, how many shootings, mass shootings, have they had at, a mil at military academies? And you know what? And you know what? I None. Will, I mean, Zero. I will never probably have a shooting around here, if I'm lucky. I will never even have that. But it's the by whole the thing way, that is happening. Way, Phil, that that's, the most, that's the most insane thing, though, what he just said. Brian. People well, have wait a minute, let me at finish. The military I know time. that. No, yes, and do you know something? They don't have any bullets in them. Well, there are those that do. No, have no, it. you yeah. agree with me, right, Alan? They don't have bullets I, in them. I, agree I know because well. I used to, I, I used to go over to the Marin Military Academy, right. and none of those yeah. kids they had they had like. Fo that was the do, kids. you know that in, when I was in China, they don't allow their soldiers to carry real guns. They carry wooden guns. That's it. They don't. They're not usable. That's guns. what they show the tourists. So they yes. just run them over with tanks. Oh, Jesus, Phil, you're such a I've moron. Been, I've been in Fort Hood in Texas here, and the, the soldiers on the base are not allowed to carry weapons. But there are MPs. The military police. Only there when are they're MPs can they have. There are MPs, and they and at military academies. I you know, know, I grew I up right near West like Point. Eighty thousand soldiers. Phil, military, military academies. The guns are not loaded. I am. I, lost I grew up near West Point. Has to do with this killing. I'm totally lost. What I'm military. saying that I grew up near West Point, <laughs> and they have you guns. Know, it's amazing how they Phil completely changes guns. the stakes of the argument. It has nothing to do with it. Well, you, 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 listen, you know, Phil, <laughs> listen to Kevin. Kevin, yeah. what? Tell him. Look, if the schools <laughs> had armed God, officers, no. had a, uh, no. had a, uh, a double no. fencing, and had a choke point where there was only one entry, you would eliminate this stuff. Just like okay. Alan said on the Wait. planes, we're not having the hijackings anymore. So what about recess? Phil, what about recess? You could go to the school. You're what not having Phil, Phil, look, look right here. Look right there. That is the school. That's, that's Castellero Middle School. So you're telling me if this has a double wall with a security guard, I cannot have an AK-47 and kill everybody while they're playing soccer out here? No, they can't play soccer anymore. Are, are you going to do a dome? Is this like a dome project? Oh, no. Here's no, what you do. You know, here's what some, you do. Here's what you do. Crazy. You guys are crazy. You and Alan are crazy some, about your ideas. Some schools <laughs> need different fortifications. Then what is this? What are they going to do here? Oh, Tell me what they're going to do. Let me hold on. Out. Hold on, Phil. Oh, well, I have to figure hold it out. On. I thought you had it figured out with your whole guy there with the choke point and all this bullshit. Oh, but the oh, Republicans want the land of the free and everything should be open. But no, we got to fortify our fucking schools. That's because it's you not have mental patients. Be That's because be you have mental gotta, patients. Put a wall around everything. But we That's because. Be but we that's because you, Kevin. That's be because you have mental patients out there that yeah, people are not willing to do anything to to deal with. They no, don't. Why, why can't you compromise, then, Phil? You know, why can't I, you? We were able to stop hijackings with the TSA. And That's people right. continue they know that he hears me downstairs. Yeah, She's okay. trying to slow me down a little. By the way, Scott Phil, Phil, Phil and Alan say they're going to have security guards here, and, and so the, all the kids are guns. Here, let me, okay. So, uh, there, okay. There's, hold, hold. there's 130,000 school elementary schools in this country. Yeah. So where are you going to get? Probably you need two. So where are you going to get 260,000 people to arm these? He's well, we have the so United cool. States Army. We can. Well, oh, yeah. There's two right there. <laughs> there. There's plenty of retired police officers that would be willing to do it. Well, Phil, I, I was some 80 year old recess. security guy. <laughs> How are you going to deal with recess? Okay. I can see the kindergartens are. I can see. Here, here, here's here's, here's what I, 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 I'm going to go along with Phil. Okay? <laughs> okay. I think that we should do with all these schools, we should put higher walls around them. 
and then we should put bar barbed wire, you know, that 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 razor wire uh, uh, up above Constantine that, wire. and then and then we uh, we put. Okay, a, boys and girls, put on your Kevlar vest. Yeah, We're yeah, all going and, research. And, and every school yeah. in oh, yeah. America should look <laughs> like that, you know. Yeah, and by more, the way, it, it gives kids a little advanced feel of what it's like to be in prison. <laughs> Yeah, well, you, know, you, you could uh, also realize that they let all the mental patients on the street. We didn't have uh, the Zodiac killer. Hey, man, who did we didn't that? have. Well, did that. there, I will agree with you, Phil. Thank you. That's where we're going. Mental people on the street. Right. Background checks. Identify those people. Help them. Get them off the street. Then they won't get the guns. No. Identify okay. them. Right. Uh, yeah, there you go. Now you're starting but, to talk a little bit. But that wouldn't work. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Bomb Hold bomb. on a second. I see, Brian. I see the guy, I see the guy talking to the guardrail every day. You know, you know, as you know, I am not against guns. I'm against the people that pull the triggers that don't know what the fuck they're doing. Absolutely. But you keep going into this, uh, we have to have AK-47s. We don't need AK-47s. Why not? We don't need them. Go we need... Guns to go out and shoot targets. A pistol. Marlin. Go have a pistol and shoot a, the targets. That's fine. Go Alan, ahead and do that. What, but what get a background someone... check. Don't be able to buy it in 15 minutes at the 7-Eleven. You need to go through a background check. Okay. Have and, you know a national, a national do, background check where if you go buy it in Arizona, they'll know about it in California. We, we, we if you go that buy in it in California. New York, they'll know about it in, in Alabama. In California, All that. we do that. Hey, and, what? And I'm for our, that nationwide. There you go. But our none system, of the Republicans will sign that bill. Our yeah, system well, has failed. Point, we have right. fail safes in place. No, we our don't. System, our system has failed because they're not reporting these people that have issues. Uh, the schools are not saying anything. The psychiatrists are not saying anything. Okay, where would they okay. have reported this guy? And how would he have stopped, been stopped getting a gun? Where were they uh, reporting? I don't. I don't know the. I don't know where. Okay, so they, there you this do. guy. But there's, there's no been way. others. What about the guy in Buffalo? Same uh, thing. Shot where would they him. report him? Yeah, manifesto too. Uh, well, they they were supposed to report him, and there there's been. Oh. Nine, but yeah, then if he goes out and buys a gun, or he already had one, how would he know? How would they know? He fell. It fell through the cracks. He should have not been allowed to have a gun. Because he was arrested before, he had a bunch of uh, issues, and the guy in Buffalo wasn't supposed to be able to buy a gun. It fell through the cracks. And he voted well, there's, there's cracks in the system that they oh. got to seal up. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, uh, boy, I'm I'm so. This is yeah. This is uh, what uh, Murphy uh, was bitching about. Tony. What are we doing? Nothing. Tony. You know what doesn't make any sense. Is, well, I think 18 is too young. Now, let's say, <clears throat> if you owned a gun store, Phil, right, and you see a kid 18, when I was 18, oh, geez, maybe I was going to college, I was just getting out of high school, I was buying like a, a video game system. You see an 18 year old kid going to buy an automatic weapon like that, doesn't that raise a flag? Even if I was 18, I'd be like, what is this kid going to be doing with this? Two, two points, Tony. Two points. First of all, it was not an automatic weapon. It was semi-automatic, but that's okay. beside the point. The other point is, I, if I saw you come in the store the way you are today, I probably wouldn't sell you a gun. Well, that, that's a good, good. Yeah, good. But I would be going in good. for a gun, though. I mean, that's a start. Crazy. That's a start, Alan. It yeah, is. exactly. Alex, you see what I'm saying? You know, what he I mean? looks like he looks like a mass murderer. No, yeah, no, no. Yeah, it's yeah, a it's matter of how hyped him. up he is. To yeah. me. Good. Uh, Don't sell it to him. I don't, isn't that like, is it, wouldn't you has, aren't you worried to say, listen, this kid's 18, look how he looks. We'll get to sell this guy a weapon like this. Like, he can't, he can't do he that. looked normal. The kid looked normal. Yeah, he but did look normal. He's too young, though. He, he looked 18. You he gotta be 18. 21 to drink. You gotta be 18. You know, you know, in California, we have a background check that we do statewide and usually put it in what's called NCIC, National Crime Information Center. And Next. before you can own a gun in the state of California, you got to go through, be vetted by the state of California Department of Justice and through NCIC. And it's a, they just put your name in a computer and it goes off to FBI and they say there's no problem. This kid didn't have a criminal record and had no uh, uh, psychological background that we know of, that anybody knows of yet. So he had the legal right to buy, he, he would have had the legal right to buy a rifle 
in California. You got to be 21 to buy a pistol in California, but we we do background checks in California and Texas they don't, and I think that's a crying shame, and I think we ought to do background checks. It would not have stopped this kid from what we know. Look, I have a federal firearms license. I have Let's all applaud, please. Let's of all applaud. That I I've been checked out by the state. I, I I agree that you know that people should be checked out and should qualify. Yes, but I Governor would... Abbott in Texas doesn't believe that, <laughs> and, and and Governor Abbott is a wholesale murderer. Well, I don't think so. I think that Governor Abbott is supporting what his, the state and the people that voted for him uh, voted He's for. Supporting the Abbott is a he represents dollars to him. I'll represents... bet you. I'll bet you, Phil, if they took a poll in the state of Texas today about guns and about what Abbott has done, you would find a majority disagree with Abbott. Okay, so in, in, a, in a few in a few and months- And yet this moron can do in, anything he wants to well, do. Well, wait a minute. In November, they're gonna take a poll. Yeah, they're are. gonna take a poll and they're gonna decide whether Abbott's the right way or O'Rourke. I think there's a good st chance. Well, no, he'll probably win because they gerrymandered and re-rigged the election in Texas. Yeah, That's the yeah. problem with There's that. An excuse. Hold on a second. Uh, no. Charlie, tell us what they've been doing in Texas to make it more difficult for people on the left to vote. Yeah, well, we, of course, have this voter ID law that overwhelmingly uh, inhibits the voting of, of uh, Democrats. Uh, what, Democrats got... don't have a driver's license? A lot of Democrats don't have a driver's license, especially Democrats of color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I I understand that the in the United States, thirteen percent of the uh, of the voters are black, and uh, there's a much higher turnout of black voters in the United States than there is of uh, many other uh, races. In, yeah, but in the state of Texas, twenty five percent of the black voters, people of voting age, do not have driver's license. All right, we're talking Texas, not no, Texas. I don't know in what Richmond, the whole country is. In Richmond, where I was a cop, nobody had a driver's license. If they had a driver's license, I never gave them a ticket. Yeah. Uh, yes, man. Uh, well, another, another lingering question is: just, Why did it take cops forty minutes, forty to sixty minutes, to to kill this guy? I, I know they did the rest, but I mean, usually they get in there within a couple of minutes. So I don't know what what's up with that. Well, when was the last time you had an emergency at your house, Matt? Called the police <laughs> and had, and, and it took 20 One minutes for them to get there. They're not no, sitting I, around the corner waiting. That's for a them. good reason for people to be armed. Well, no, they arrived quickly, but for some reason they didn't go into the room he had barricaded himself in for 40 to 60 minutes. I don't know. Maybe there wasn't a window. Was maybe that was a problem. I don't know. Yeah, but hostages? It's a big question. Uh, okay. Yeah, they were waiting for the, the border patrol, the border SWAT patrol. They were already there. They were the first ones there. Yeah. Bo there had been a report the, the, and his attack the U.S. Border grandma. Patrol SWAT team was training nearby when the call came out, and they responded. And the they guy who there, shot uh, Ramos, quick. the guy who shot Ramos also was shot in the leg. Uh, you know, uh, so, I mean, these these guys stood up and did the right thing. So I'll try one one more quick thing here with you, Matt. I, I mean, I, I, I think the Republicans are fucking us, but that's beside the point. So um, the other thing is, it's better to have a plan when you go in on an active shooter than it is to just rush in, you know, a police officer here and a police officer there, and one agency here and one agency there, and you don't know the bad guy from the police. So you form a plan and yeah. you go in and execute it and find the, the shooter and stop him. But and I you know, know that may, we, seem, may seem strange to you, but those cops want to go home to their wives and kids too. But you oh, know, yeah, yeah, no. we put oh, yeah. their lives on the they put their lives on the line every day for strangers. Alan, What's we that, I mean? we practice uh, in different venues how to protect those venues, where to take the parishioners, uh, where is a safe area, how absolutely. to get them out of the out of the synagogue. Yep. Uh, so, you know, we, we study uh, the, the perimeter and the interior of these places to be able to uh, support uh, uh, protecting it uh, in case there was a shooter or a bomber or, right. or any of those things. 
That, but I keep seeing. I keep seeing on the news that ever since Columbine, they were trained that they must go in immediately. There's no waiting allowed. They must go in. That's what they keep saying on the news. That's what, you know. Uh, I don't buy that. No, that, that, then they become bullet sponges. That's right. They become a target instantly with with no plan. You know. Well, even the Bible says when there's no plan, the people will perish. And it's it's the same thing. You, you, you know, when we're going to make an entry... Uh, we used to train we would make a mock-up uh on 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 the lawn of the building that we were going to enter and serve a warrant and uh we would practice how we were going to go in we do as much intel as possible see which way the doors swing and but that's a warrant that's not an active shooter though yeah, well, that's yeah, a little that's different. Right. There we, weren't active the shooters when Phil was a cop that wasn't developed yet was a, was a little yes there, there, there were but not as much the technology wasn't there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was. It was. It's just we didn't have as many active shootings when we were cops. It's just the Well, all I know is that I don't want Kevin. I feel really that. bad for the families. I really do. Well, and then what are you going to do? Time. What are you going to do about it? Well, I think the Republicans ought to get off their ass and and, and start fixing or at least attempt to fix some of these it's problems. The Republicans aren't in charge. If you wanted to put money, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 you wait, wanted wait, wait, to put money, money. Alan, Abbott if you is want, a Republican. If you wanted to put money into schools, uh, it would be very simple uh, for the uh, for the U.S. government to send that money to the schools but what they did was they sent 40 billion dollars to the ukrainians oh what has this got to do with ukraine <laughs> well it's got to do with the funding that some of that funding could have gone to schools to make them uh, more fortified okay why don't you run for congress so you can be out there voting and putting that out i don't know you got a big mouth and you're a democrat you ought to run yeah, well, you can't. You can't arm teachers. The cops would go in there, and they wouldn't know who the good guy is, the bad guy. That's is. right. That's why they. That's why they <laughs> that's, wait outside and set up a plan, Matt. Yes, so you have intel. Up, so you'll they learn, end up shooting you'll, all the wrong people. So, right. You you learn yeah, who these people it, it are. Take, it takes time. If you ever watch any one of these things on the news, and the SWAT teams there, yeah. the cops, they're not all rushing in until they've got a plan. So, uh, you can't blame the cops for that. And unfortunately, right, right. active shooters <laughs> continuing to shoot. They're going to have to expedite their plan. The school resource officer at Marjorie Stoneman in Florida hid. He, did, yep. he didn't go in. Chicken he, shit. he just took a perimeter position, and he hid while kids were being killed. Right. That's, that's and why. That, and that's what teachers would do, too. You think yeah. teachers, teachers are compassionate people that are teaching your kids? You think they're really up to shooting people? Some I, I know at least I 12 you, teachers. I don't think we ought to arm teachers. I know at least 12 Fair teachers, enough. and one of them is my father-in-law, and none, none, zero, have any interest whatsoever in carrying a gun into school. They want to teach. That's they right. don't want a gun. They I don't want to be a security officer. I agree with they you. They don't want to back up the cops well, just you in don't, case. You don't they want to sign up to be a interest in that. Said. They, you don't they decide to, to be a, a murderer. Yeah, you, you don't want to be in a position where you need a gun and you don't have it. You know? No, it, no. <laughs> if, if those teachers, and I, I bet you not one of those teachers would have said, I didn't want a gun if they were sitting in that classroom when that no. guy came in. No, and they don't even want to be in that position. Up. They want the government to take care of well, rules exactly. to stop stuff like this from they're, happening. They're not. They want the okay, government all right, to make sure all right, all right. people but, don't get, get their real. hands on the guns. I've been, too, I'm, I've been too busy here. Happen. I've been too busy okay, here. Okay, so let's just sit back, everybody arm up, and we'll yeah. just sit in our windows and wait for people to come up, and we'll shoot the fuckers. Works for me. No, let, yeah, I know it works for you. To, to, yeah. Uh, let me let me uh, jump in here. And uh, to begin with, I was busy trying to keep people out of here rather than coming in. Uh, well, the one night yeah. that we could actually get more people. Well, yeah, but I mean, if I put them on and then they don't uh, unmute themselves and just sit there, oh. I have to get rid of them. Okay, so uh. please allow me to do my job here. Yes. Sir. Um, the thing that I'm saying that that uh, we we're losing sight of here is the question really is what do we do about this i mean you're like you like the republicans in congress they go around and go, oh we're so sad that everything got but they they're not willing to do anything about it 
They're not willing to even sit down and discuss what to do about it. That's All right. they do is send their, their thoughts and prayers to the families. If they cared about those goddamn families, they do something about this preoccupation we have in this country with guns. It's sick, it's horrible, and it's got to be turned around. And that, uh, Abbott's, Abbott's a speaker at that NRA. That's what uh, Beto was saying. Oh, it's Trump. Trump or something? Yeah. No. Trump is speaking there too. Yeah. Yeah, and Cruz is going to be down there too. Yeah. For three, three. So they'll all get together and talk crowd. about it. No, they'll talk about the tragedy. Won't it's they? not the NRA that's shooting up the schools. No, it's the NRA is patients. blocking everything from being there and saying, "Oh, that this right. is not, this is not right. This is and, not and, right." And the NRA so wants you think that you are. They're, they're pushing the fact that they're trying to take away the guns, and they're not. Yeah, well, look, I know. Regulate them. They, they, Obama, they said they're going to come and take your guns away. Then they're, 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 they're going to come and take your guns away. When have they ever done that? Come on. Beto O'Rourke jumped up on a table and he says, "Damn straight, I'm going to take your ARs." <laughs> you know? Yes. Why not? Those are, they're called assault rifles for a no, reason. And AR stands for Armalite Rifle Company. Uh, and where do they use them? Where do they use them? They are use they them not referred to the as? Field wait of a combat. minute. Hold on and a they, second. Are they, they not referred to as assault rifles? N no. Aren't they? Uh, that's that's your definition. No, they use them for shooting ducks, Alex. They use them for shooting ducks, and you get you get feathers, a, and you can put them in your pillow. It is a carbine. It is a carbine. It is no different than a what is a marlin. Uh, Alan, what, what is it? What is that rifle? Why do they need? Why? Do, what does anybody wait. need one of these rifles? Tell okay, me. So change this up. Say he didn't take an AR-15 in. Instead, he took a semi-automatic shotgun that holds nine rounds. You know, and he fired off those nine and kept loading. Every time he fired, he kept what we call combat reload, loading the shotgun with more and more ammo. Okay. Okay. That's depressing. I mean, it, it, it would do absolutely. He's still killing people. A shotgun, he absolutely. Be, he would I be think more. He'd be vulnerable. When Gabby Giffords was shot in California, I mean in Arizona, they got him while he ran out of bullets and was trying to reload. Yep, because he so didn't know how to. But he had a pistol. He had a, mm -hmm. he had a nine millimeter pistol, Charlie. And okay. You yep. want to see what an AR-15 looks like? No. No. Not really. I mean, everybody knows. I've seen them on TV. Yeah. Phil's got one he picked well, up. I can ask any I, I can ask any 18-year-old in in uh, in um Texas. Texas. in Texas to show me his. You just yeah. go down to 7-Eleven and buy one. Basically. Yeah. Basically, there's no difference, you know. Except well, there isn't a height chart on the way out. If, if you don't you know. if you don't like it, don't live there. You know? Uh, oh Jesus! That's 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 not. But a the very people good who live Phil, there, Phil, that is so simplistic. That is so simplistic. I don't even. Look, uh, I a don't, lot of the people, but those I, those are the ones that wanted those laws. I see all Phil, of these Phil, people. Phil, Phil, Charlie wants that law, right? They Look, don't want when you Scott had uh, that law. what was it? What was the school? I, what was the school school up in Connecticut? Uh, uh, um, Sandy Hook. Uh, Sandy Hook. When Sandy Hook happened. That should have been the clarion call right there. Yeah. That should have been the moment that so, we started. Wait a minute. Let me finish, Phil. Please. Mm -hmm. That should have been the moment that we started talking about it and having a discussion and that the Republicans said something like, well, let's see what we can do about this because those kids being killed was horrible. But they didn't feel it was horrible because if they did, they would have done something about it. And they oh, didn't. And now Obama. it's come to this. This is the large, if I'm not mistaken, this is the largest loss of lives yet in a school massacre. Second. Second. S second, what was the first? No second second. I don't know. Uh, but let me, let me, let me, can I run something uh, was by Was it you? Stoneman or Sandy Hook? I don't Sandy think Stoneman, Hook. I think, was less. You're talking about this one? This yeah. one recently? Yeah. This is a second yeah. besides Sandy second Hook. Sand, Sandy, Hook. Yeah. Sandy, Sandy Hook was, was more? Yeah, 26. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. So well, there's still three in the hospital, if, so we still might get there. How about if the Republicans <laughs> try this, Bill? Say for now on out that only the police and military have ARs, the, 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 the AR-15, the M4s and stuff, because civilians, although they do make a good defense weapon, but so does a shotgun. A shotgun actually makes a better self-defense weapon. But that, I, don't want, I don't want to argue the point with you, Phil. Say they outlaw ARs to civilians, okay? Not take the ones away, just stop selling them to civilians in this country. 
And I think that would be a great start because a lot of these shootings have been with an, an AR, which we both know is a semi-automatic and you can get magazines that hold 30 or 50 rounds. And that's a lot of fucking firepower. I'm sorry. And, and, and I, 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 I understand your position on the AR and, but you know, they're being used wrongfully, not as a hunting rifle, not as a self-defense weapon, not as a target weapon. They're being used to kill children. So why not stop allowing civilians to own them? Because they are no different than a Marlin. They're, they're Mar no, they're Marlin, no different. That's a gun manufacturer. Yeah, well, you know... Well, Marlin doesn't make an AR. Yeah, they, they make something very similar with a detachable magazine that shoots uh, two two three. What's and, it called? Uh, Marlin 21, I think. So what, what do you have Paul to go through... One. What do you have to go through to buy one of those devices? Okay, let me just say something here. This obsession with guns in this country is a mental problem. It's a mental problem that an entire nation has. We are so obsessed with guns. And, and it is just absolutely terrible. You know, in, in the old days when you had people living out on the range and on ranches, yeah, I could see having a gun. Every now and then you used to have to kill a predator that was coming after you. Living in Montana with some of those big ugly bears, you maybe have to kill one or two to save your own life. But that isn't life in America today. And we're not talking about living out in, Mo uh, out in Montana up in the hills. We're talking about living in a little suburb in, in Texas where this kid got his hands on these guns without any questions being asked because the governor of that state allowed this kind of behavior to go on and now there are 21 people dead as a result of it and a few more waiting to die. Okay? Are, how dare, how dare anybody in the Congress or the Senate, Republican or Democrat, deny that something needs to be done to stem this tide? I agree with you. Something does need to be done. You need yeah, yeah, to deal you're going to go back to your old thing about let's arm the teachers and let's arm the... And you need and to we have deal to have with an egress and an mental exit defectives and a... that are out on the street and that they're doing nothing about. We we need to do all of that, Phil, but the problem is they're doing nothing. Mental health has been a big problem and everybody talks about it. Mental health, mental health. And like I tell you, the guys here are staring at the guardrail and having discussions with them, you know, People have to be helped, and nobody's being helped. I, I don't That's care correct. if it's no guns or whatever, but all those things. And the things that Better Work talks about, the safe storage laws, right? Do we have those in California? Yes, we yes. do. Yes. Do we yeah. have them in Texas? No. I don't know. I don't know. The red flag laws, they say extreme risk protection orders. We have that in and then the universal, yeah. Exactly. And then the universal checks, background checks. We have, we have that. And all. then... Stop the selling of all those kind of things that you don't need. Like when I bought my <laughs> AR, I waited 30 days before I could get it. And an AR is a modular gun. I put it together by mm -hmm. ordering different. How long cars. do you think that would take you in Texas, you Phil? Put it together. You're not that mechanical. How I long would you put it together how, for me? How, how, how long would parts. you take for? How long would it take for you to get that same gun in Texas? Well, obviously, it only took a day. Yeah, right? Okay, there's your answer. That's, Amazon that's, Prime. That's my point. Well, the people of Texas can vote for those things if they want. The people of California uh, voted and they want. No, I think what we have to do oh, is go to the to highest level the and, and we, have yeah. to, we have to put an end to the Second Amendment. I, I say, you know, that. Uh, Repeal the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment's the problem. I think you the second it, Alex, I know. think the second amendment is the problem because it's been the constant argument for the last, you know, at least the last half of this century and the last half of the last century. So stop I mean, arguing about the second amendment and pinpoint The second the amendment is. has to the be repealed is, if you want to replace it with something more reasonable, well, more I, up to date. What were you going to say, Charlie? The, the second amendment says well regulated. People like to ignore that part well regulated we have perfect right to regulate guns it says it right there in the second amendment okay he's right rid of the he's second right amendment, and then let's get rid of roe v wade and let's go back to the Wait, roe v wade government. now you see you're, you're, you're he can't Stop. it's yeah, apples and oranges alan your legs. it's apples and oranges he's at charlie's charlie's absolutely right there is a qualification in that amendment 
in order to maintain a well-ordered oh. militia. We're going to see because the Supreme Court has that information up in front of it now. And probably by July, there's going to be a ruling uh, on the New York. Uh, so we're going a different uh, what, what was it called? A New, a New York. What did you say? Uh, what did you say, thing. Kevin? Hmm? Uh, there's, there's going to be a ruling of. Uh, uh, on the uh, Second Amendment. Yeah, on the Second Amendment. Right. Uh, in, in New York. The Supreme Court. Yeah, but right. the Matthew Supreme Moore Court Hawk. is going to have to vote. Uh, is going to have to look at the Constitution and That's rule right. as a result of the Constitution. Now, I don't know if they're asking the question about what a well-ordered militia is. That's they may, they, maybe they'll change the wording. I think there's a comma after that. Well, no, the Supreme Court can't change the wording of no. an amendment. Oh, no, I think there's a comma after the well-ordered militia. In order to maintain a well-ordered militia, comma, yeah. the right yeah. to bear arms shall not be infringed. They give you a right. qualifier as to why you can own a gun. Phil, and do you belong to a militia? Yes. Do you? Yes, it's called the Sheriff's Posse. Yeah, I, Is it uh, regulated? Really? Yeah. Uh, well, yes, sort it's regulated. Sort of. Uh, sort of. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm part of a, a group that's uh that's called the Sheriff's Posse. But you know, the other the other in Contra Costa. But you know, there's there's another uh there's another issue. The well ordered militia is there to protect the citizens from the government, from a tyrannical government. Which that's, you're that's very happy order. having having government. When was the last time that this government up? was taken over by a tyrannical government outside of when Trump was president? Right. Uh, I, I don't think Trump was a tyrant. I think that. Uh, oh no, he, he no didn't. Obama the reason he wasn't a tyrant is he didn't have time to be one. He only did well, one term. He, if he had gotten his will, second term, he would have become a tyrant. He, he'll, he'll get his second term in 2024. No, he won't. Oh please, no. But no, he won't. Phil's not going to vote for him. He's already said that on the air. And well, I said that I vote for He's going to vote for the idiot in Florida. Well, I, I like DeSantis. See, cool. there you go. He's going to vote so. Trump can't count you for your vote again this yeah. time. Yeah, and you know, and Jeff would probably like DeSantis. I didn't he go to. Well, Yale? you like DeSantis because you hate women. Why is that? Because you have no respect for them and the right of them to do with their bodies what they want to. Uh, that has nothing to do with hating women. That has something to do with protecting life. Oh, Actually, I see. I oh, here we, here we go. Oh. You don't, you don't care about them once they're outside the womb. I uh, ran out of drink. I had to drink so much I ran out. I didn't even drink. Everybody, I couldn't everybody. drink. I was vomiting in my mouth. <laughs> you ought to drink. Diarrhea of the mouth. Oh, my God. You know, it's not Phil doesn't like women. It's women don't like Phil. No, that's true, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, ahead, no. Wait a minute. Jeff hasn't said anything tonight. Let Jeff say something. Yep. I got very little to say, but. Unfortunately, uh, I, I really, everything I know about guns, it's pretty much negative, negative world. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I once shot a gun a long time. I didn't shoot anybody, but That's I good. thought, my God, once I did that, uh, these things were too dangerous and two accidents that can happen without even, without even doing anything. You know, okay. you just all you have to pull one trigger and you can kill somebody. Absolutely. Even if you don't want to kill them. Absolutely. And then the other part is, there's a lot of people who have them that have guns at home. Yeah. And a lot of the people in their family are lost. Are what? Because they have a gun. Uh huh. That's right. And they have a little <laughs> mental problem and yep. they decide to kill themselves. Well, that's that's You're absolutely thing. right, Jeff. You're absolutely you know? right. Well, it, and are any of you guys? If you, if you calculate right. the number of people who get killed by a gun, it's probably in their own house. Yep. Yeah. And sometimes, if, if people are protecting themselves, they get killed with their own gun. That's okay. True. Because they aren't That's able to push the trigger. And so, the yeah. presence of that gun, if it hadn't existed in that situation, that person might still be alive because the person breaking in didn't have a weapon. But he had you one. Don't shoot somebody for breaking in. That's a breaking like, in is not. Uh, you're not going to kill. Not somebody not in California, in. but in Texas in you Texas can. Texas is perfectly legal. Yeah. Somebody's on this side of my window. Morally, it's not a smart move. You no. would agree yeah. with anyway, that. Anyway, uh, Matt, you had your hand up. 
I, I was I, I, I'd rather have maybe a taser, but I really don't want to murder someone in my life. I'd I'd rather be killed than kill someone. Well, there's your answer okay. right there. That's let's let's point. outlaw guns and <laughs> well, and let people use tasers instead. If they taser, want to taser, taser could be fun. Yeah. Re replace guns with uh, silly string. Much better. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, right. I, I, so they, they do have the one year the one year anniversary today from the VTA shooting. So. A VCA is our, our Valley Transportation Center, and one of my friends worked there, and his boss was shot. But uh, one, the one uh, worker came by and shot shot up nine nine people, killed them, and then one one other person actually committed suicide a couple months later. So this is the one year anniversary of that. So yep. that's just another reminder how close that was, you know, for us. And I don't even I don't remember know. that one. No, you yeah. know, well, was local, <laughs> that, that's like a big, big deal here. Very big how deal. come nobody? How come nobody's shooting up post offices anymore? Used to be postal was was uh, becoming a, a a word, a lexicon in the oh, uh, in the English language. Supposed to be funny or what? No, oh, I, I'm no. just saying that you know they uh, they used to. Yeah, and what, and what did they what did they do to stop that? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Well, they didn't. Know. They didn't have security guards be there with guns. The last time oh, I went to the post something. office, there wasn't one there. They had they, yeah, no ways. <laughs> <laughs> they actually tore down that building, Brian. Oh, really? BTA? Yeah, they tore down the building because it was too too many bad memories. So, Matt, Matt, if you ever come to the Bay Area, look me up, and I have a taser, and I will show you that you do not want to get hit with a taser. Do yourself a favor. Oh, I, mean, don't don't, I don't want to get hit by one. But, I want, I'll but, someone but chances one. are, <laughs> if you get if you get fired at by a taser. You're going to survive. I'm not volunteering you're not... to be shot by a taser. Oh, okay. I, I'm just going to say, I have one, I'll take care of Yeah, well, I would rather be shot by a taser than by a gun. Yes. Oh, well, yes, any yes, of us yes. would. <laughs> you know, us. and if you want to talk about defensive weapons, that's certainly an acceptable defensive weapon, is it not? Absolutely. Unless, unless the other guy has a gun. Yeah, or a knife. <laughs> well, if he had a gun, he probably would have a hard time shooting it while he was shaking well, around from the taser. Fire. Uh, is not there, necessarily. Is there, yeah. Is there well, anyone if here? You, if he shoots and you shoot, what? You're done. What'd you say, Matt? Is, is there anyone here prepared, uh, other than Phil? I know you would be to kill someone coming into your house. You're going to kill him? No, I wouldn't I would, kill him coming into my house. I wouldn't kill somebody coming into my house. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. I can't. I, I don't want to have that on my conscience. But but I but I'm not afraid to. Use and by the way, having all those guns in homes is not the best idea in the world because if there's a family argument, there's always a weapon there. You know, mine are in a safe. And you know, no one, knows, no yeah, one knows the combination. I don't care about oh, you and your goddamn safe. I'm talking about other people, Phil. Wait, you don't argue. Too. I, I don't, don't argue in I, the kitchen. Huh? What? Don't, ar don't argue in the kitchen. I always argue somewhere else. <laughs> Where the knives are? Knives. I mean, knives. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Knives. Uh, you know, Jeff had a point. A lot of people are killed in the house as they get in an argument, get upset by somebody, and they have a gun. But yeah. some of those people, Jeff, uh, a good amount of the deaths in this country with a knife, if they didn't have access, uh, to a, a knife. lot of the deaths in this country from firearms are Not domestic, are domestic disputes, yeah. absolutely, or suicides. Absolutely. Okay, another way. I I think that uh, you know that you have to take that in consideration. All those things. What do we need these guns for? You know, I don't give a shit about I I don't think I I'm, I'm not planning to gun down any Russians anytime soon, you know? Because it's my right. And <laughs> Is there is there any country that gives out guns to every family? Yes, Switzerland. Really? Yeah. No. They do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every family's required to own a, own a, I believe it's a right. Because rifle. they don't, well, the because, homicide rates, it's one of well, the lowest. Well, see, they argue that they don't have a standing army, but in fact they do. Yeah, the people. The people. The people. Yeah, but Just they like do us. have, they also do have a standing army, uh, but they try to not advertise that fact. Although Switzerland actually took, a, oh no, it was Finland took a position uh, for a Ukraine against Russia when and Finland is usually neutral like Switzerland is right. well I think it's pretty hard to be uh, neutral where Ukraine is concerned that is such a how can I call it a uh, you know travesty. So, it's just a travesty yeah. that, that you, you you can't argue it you well know? Putin says he's fighting Nazis yeah, yeah well, where uh, yeah, in where? Ukraine in his head uh, yeah that Jewish Nazi who runs the country you mean yeah yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. 
And you say that's, guard, that's what he's telling the Russian people. They don't believe him. That's the Kevin, let me just ask you, and I hope you don't get interrupted by Phil here. Uh, do you have an, a solution to this problem? A simple solution? Or maybe there isn't a simple one. There's no simple solution. It's, it's called bipartisan get together, work on the problem, and get it put in place. Uh, a regulated, get it regulated. There just seems to be a line drawn in the sand by the Republicans not wanting to talk about this issue. You know, they'll talk about, about it. it. They'll talk about it, and they'll use the Second Amendment as the excuse. Part of I'm the talking reason, about it. Part of the part of the reason California not reasonably. Had, part of the reason California was one of the first states in the union or the country to come up with a background <laughs> check, they called it a cooling off period. It's mandatory ten days in some places. The gun store will add another day to it, make it 11, but it's mandatory 10 days, and they called it a cooling off period. Should be 30 to 45 days at least. I, I would I would agree with you, Kevin. And Let me, it should be national, and I would it should be in every too. state, and nope. anything, any gun or any firearm, period. No, nope. no disagreement with me. With How you. come the cities uh, with the most draconian gun laws, like Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, have the high, and Washington D.C. have the highest murder rate in the country. The ones that you want an answer to that, Phil? San Francisco, point? You San Francisco want... did you mention San Francisco and their high rate of, of crime and, and gunshot wounds? And they they've got a high rate. Los Angeles. Uh, Angeles. Well, also also what to, he's mentioning uh, are major me congested metropolitan areas. Where, where violence is simply up because of the congestion of population in one area. You're Does not Chicago talking... Does have that kind of a... Um, yes. sorry, but what's, you know. what's the excuse for uh, this place in Texas being exponentially smaller than, say, Men a Chicago? defective. Again, uh, me again. Mental illness. That's yes, I know, it's I know. And, 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 and it's a shame they have a mean, governor that's mentally ill. No, it, it, you can't blame the governor for the actions of a of a mentally deranged kid. Why not? I didn't know that Governor Abbott was a kid. Because there are plenty of people in Texas that are law abiding that wouldn't think oh, of doing yeah. anything right. like that. Yeah, just because one person does it, does that make it bad? Yes, it makes it bad, and they shouldn't allow that one person. By the way, to do let me it, ask Charlie something because Char Charlie, Charlie Charlie lives in Texas. Uh, say, oh, you shouldn't geez. take the rights away Char from every it, other it, citizen. It, it, you because... Can I ask a question, Charlie? Please. Did, did I ask? Did I answer your question? Yes, you did. Okay. Yes. Well, I didn't know because Phil jumped in. There. Yeah, Charlie. Uh, um, how many of these mass murders have taken place in Texas? Is this the only one? Oh heck, no. There have been a whole bunch of them. Really? I wouldn't be surprised if there were more in Texas than there were any other state. Yeah. Like five or six in the past five years, I think. Yeah. Like they yeah. did a count from the last 50 years. I think there was uh, 28 mass shootings. You got uh, Virginia Tech. Uh, in you, Texas. You got, no, Virginia, uh, yeah, but what I'm saying is that there's been plenty of mass shootings in other areas of the country. <laughs> oh, they, they, they put up a graph today. I can't remember how wait many minute, there were, but they were all over the place. What was, oh, was Adrian coming in? The only time in? it was low was during COVID when no one was in school. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Wait a minute, was Adrian coming in? No, she's naked, so she will not be coming oh. in. <laughs> 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 you know, you, you get really trouble with this show. But that's no, all in just, trouble. He just took a shower, that's all. Yeah. Get them delisted. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, because I, 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 I wanted to say... It can't can't explain it to her, you know. She has no concept of what that is. She, she I talk, I started talking to her a little bit about it, but run around the house in the day. And I was gonna start talking to her a little bit more about it in detail today because it just hits me hard today when I'm picking her up. Yeah, I, yeah. She doesn't have that concept. So. Yeah. Well, you know what I was gonna use her as an example of why we want to be careful about guns. You know, God forbid she should go to school one day and something like this should happen. Even forget about it happening in her classroom. Think about it just happening in her school and yeah. how it is going to traumatize her. her life. You know, I, it isn't I, just I, the 19 dead kids. It's all the kids in that school who've been traumatized by this. And by the way, almost every kid I saw who was killed, in fact, every kid who was killed was Hispanic. Yes, they were. Yep. I well, think all the kids that were Hispanic, Hispanic, Hispanic that did it. The Latino yeah. community, you know, yeah. if I was Brian and somebody had shot my kid, 
and, and like, like I would do everything in my power to make sure that I found the shooter before the police did. And I 100%. Would, you know, yeah. Yeah. And, and Alex, I know, you know, you think about how you have no kid. Mm-hmm. That's the difference between people that have kids and, and if you don't, you know, I, I know, you know, somebody, somebody have that, something like that happened to her. <clears throat> I know I'm going to prison the rest of my life. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Listen, there's our music. By the way, there is no Jack Bishop show tonight. There's no intersection because Jack is in the hospital, I well, think. Well, we get him off. Again? We don't need to stop. Banana peel again. <laughs> we don't need to stop. I'm exhausted. I don't know we about can, you. You leave unless it's yellow. Hey, yellow I, can, I, can, I, can, I can do you, that. You, you, <laughs> had, you had 41 at one point. 41. Yeah, we have 41, 41 right now. Oh, wait. Really? They like us beating up on you. Wait a minute, you, you guys wanna you guys wanna keep going at this? Sure. Uh, I gotta pee. Yeah. I don't care. You're not we'll the, the show's not about you. Yeah, it's not about you, Phil. You can go pee. All right. You know. Go pee. Come use, back. Could use a break without. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Okay. So I mean, so we don't we don't have to sign off immediately. You know, we can stick around a little bit here. He's got a bladder like a woman. He's gone now. Not I just, I just don't. Over, I get. Pull over. I got a piss. Hold pull on a second. Over, hold hold on a second. Let me say something, please, Alan. I don't understand Phil. You know, there's no reason within him. There is this dogmatic attitude about things, and it it has to fit fi, uh, fit the company line, or he doesn't believe it. Some, you know. He's a smart guy, and you and I both know him, Alex. And uh, I got to tell you, sometimes I think he does it just to pull people's chains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I believe that I'll, he'll he'd never admit it, but I believe that we we talk about all kinds of stuff, but the only thing we argue about is politics. And I got to tell you, a lot of times he'll send me messages. Trump was the greatest president ever. And I'm like, oh, no, shit. he wasn't. And he just knows it'll get my goat. Wait a minute, hold it. He's back. Okay, everybody, uh, let's go back to talking about the, the color of the paint. Yeah, yeah. So before before they had, remember Agnes, Agnes, uh, the the uh, mental institution over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Agnew. Agnew, Agnew, yeah, Agnew. And I don't know the history because I know a lot. Of, <clears throat> you know, there. I think a long time ago they used to have a lot of those mental hospitals or something like that. They were great. Uh, nice I, I mean, Phil, is that what you're asking? Is that what you're saying? We need to spend more money on more men building up mental institutions again, the ones that we've already closed down, because I don't know how much or well, how many are still around. Yeah, because oh, Reagan yeah. went in there and closed down Absolutely. all the mental. Reagan is the fault. You can't you can't put these people in prison, but you need to give them some help. I mean, yes. uh, a lot I of these people are on the drugs. Guy, They're know, living the on guy, the street. But the homeless guys down here that we think are a little bit mental, how are you going to pull them and bring them in there? Well, some of them don't need it. They're not a danger to themselves. But some do, and some could be that trigger point, well, right? Why don't, you, why don't you call the police and let the San Jose Well, we should take care of uh, No, 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 I have. No, they. But, I, I, we've had an incident out here when they crashed the car in, across my lawn, and we talked about that. And one of the cops is from Oakland PD. I said, now he just transferred to San Jose. He said, San Jose, they're going to do the same, the same program that they had in Oakland. And he said, it doesn't work. They go ahead and build this area for them, and nobody comes. They said, this, these programs just don't work for them. I just want you to know that was a good picture of that car across your lawn. Oh, thanks. And by the way, <laughs> that's that's the reason we shouldn't have guns right there. You know, yeah. uh, because cars crash into lawn and, and this one too and that so, one too so, so stephanie just to let you know the plan this, right this, my friend this, Bill, this guy he's gonna put a dome over your your school and, and barbed wire so, <laughs> you so you'll be safe the rest of your school this year. is why behind me this is oakland and this is why it, it, it's not working in oakland and it's not going to work in san jose we don't want to see some fucking photograph you pulled off the internet it's actually his backyard. I, I, this one I did pull off the internet. Yeah, and what's it supposed to prove? That there's it homelessness? Just shows all the homeless. And so that and there's homelessness, another thing we don't do anything right. about? And that's what Oakland has got 35% more homeless, and most of these people uh, uh, have uh, mental issues. They went broke having how white carpet. No. How are you going to get them into the hospitals that they can get help if they need it? Well, because if you find people sleeping on the sidewalk that are drunk or, and that are on drugs 
and that are a danger to themselves, you can bring them in uh, danger, at least for 72 uh, hours. Uh, up to 72 hours is called uh, Welfare and Institutions Code 5150. Right. And and that's and you use that to get them off the street mm -hmm. and to get them and, and, up and, and this, this applies it, 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 this applies to keeping guys away from going into into schools with guns. How, do, how does that apply? You're just bringing up a whole different subject. You know, well, you just you derail. New, you derail you every conversation. You deal derail every conversation. Okay, oh well, we wouldn't have these problems in the school if we had more money because we didn't send it to the Ukraine. Right. <laughs> You make no sense, Phil. Well, no, it, it makes a lot of sense. Oh, it makes a lot of sense. So what do you want to do? No you want to not send that the, that equipment to the Ukraine no, and have those people get killed? I want to have money for the schools to fortify them. I don't. That's want up to the state. In that state, it's up to the state of Texas. Well, I don't want people being shot. What's the state of Texas doing to protect their people once they've made laws allowing guns to be rampant? You're, you know, we're all in different states, and you're talking well, look, about a federal... Look, look wait a minute. A there's a teenage... Issue. There's a little girl who's acting like a bag lady. Yeah. How are you going to, how are you going to uh, get all of the people uh, safe nationwide? You have to... You uh, have we're to right back federal. where we started. I think we better call this to a close. All right. Because this is going to go around. Well, you, I'll let you guys talk. No, if you no, 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 no. I think it's time to go. <laughs> Adrian's trying to move her chair in here to sleep in here and listen to you. Oh, really? My, my, my last thought is we tried it your way for the past 50 years. Give us 50 years. Yeah, give us 50 years out. to try it our way. <laughs> yeah, very if it good. Work out, we'll go back to this Very shit. good, Matt. I like that, you know. Matt. And That's also, it's my yeah, theory, you. you know, you're, oh, there she is. She's dancing now. Yeah, yeah. If you'd move out of the way, Brian, we could see her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you, Phil. Thank you, Matt. We really appreciate your call tonight, uh, uh, Kevin. Uh, I hope this didn't get too anguishing for you because I know how you can get a little gut wrenching going on there. And I, uh, I, I think he worked a lot of that out tonight when Phil was talking. Nope. There. Okay. No, nope, not even close. Not even close. And if this was my shot, it would be sharp. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me thank uh, 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 Alan. Let me thank Charlie. Charlie, I'm sorry you live in that state, but maybe you aren't. Uh, thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. Tony, thank you for being here. And Adrian, thank you and that guy who's with you for being here. What, what is that her? Is, is she... She practicing for a school dance or something with that whole thing? Her, her comedy career. Her comedy career. Anyway. Oh, and you're welcome. I'll send you my bill. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. And I'll say goodnight also to all the people who are, uh, are listening out there. Let me just uh, uh, end this. And thank you. There were a lot of you listening tonight. Uh, it, it's a subject that, you know, it's sad that we have to have this discussion, okay? It's not a good discussion to have, and but we're gonna have it, and we're gonna keep having it because there are gonna be more deaths and more schools and more venues, uh, and and uh, all these soft targets, as Phil calls them, uh, and it, it's it's a shame. It is just a shame that we allow this to go on in this country, and that there's a certain part of the American public that really don't want to have a discussion about it and figure out how do we solve this problem. Anyway, uh, I love having you all here, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Night, everybody.